welcome to our daily resolution channel in this video we're going to be solving a problem in kinetics more particularly a problem that borders on impacts or what we call collision and we're going to walk through this example in which two vehicles a and b of the same mass that were moving towards each other collided after collision both vehicles skidded in the direction of b from the point of the collision, vehicle A traveled a distance of 3 meters after moving to rest, while vehicle B traveled a distance of 1 meter before coming to rest. Vehicle A was moving at a speed of 8 km per hour, and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the two vehicles and the road is 0.25. Is 0.25. We are to calculate the speed of car B before collision, the coefficient of restitution of the cars, the impulse between the two vehicles, Let's not forget that initially we said um, they have the same masses. So we have on the road two vehicles, vehicle A and vehicle B. They were moving towards each other on C. They collided and then we're given some um, information after the collision. We're told that the both vehicles traveled for a distance identified to be one meter for one of them and the other three meters. Vehicle A moves backwards three meters, right? Vehicle B moves just one meter forward. And other variables were given, such as the initial velocity with which vehicle A was moving at eight kilometer per hour. Then their masses as well was given. So we're going to start by identifying all parameters that were given. For vehicle A, we had the initial velocity before the collision that's uia we had um, okay we're not given the velocity after collision for vehicle a we we're given the distance it traveled backwards after the collision which is three meters and then we're given the final velocity of vehicle a to be zero because it eventually came to rest coefficient of the kinetic coefficient of friction between vehicle a and the road is 0 0.25 and the mass of vehicle a is um, 10 kg. Likewise, for vehicle B, we're not given any value for velocities, and then we're not given the okay, the, but we're given the distance traveled after the collision, which is one meters. Then we're given the final velocity, which means which is zero, and that means vehicle B coming to rest at the point of one meters after travel. Then the kinetic coefficient of friction is 0 0.25 as well. So the first question is that we should estimate the speed of car B before collision. And if we're going to find speed of car B, we're going to call out our call out the equations that are used to estimate them um, different variables for kinetics relation. That's when force is involved. There are four basically. We have the Newton second law, we have the energy equation that relates kinetic energy and work done. We have the impulse and momentum equation as well as the principles of conservation of momentum. So these are the four equations. If we look at the first relation, let, let's be reminded that we are to estimate the speed of car B for the first relation, which is uh, the Newton second law, it just relates mass acceleration and uh, summation of forces acting on the body. This may not be suitable to estimate the speed of car B before collision. Then, if you look at the second equation, which is the energy equation, this equation relates all variables for this case variables with which the car traveled after collision so there was initial kinetic energy after the collision and there was final kinetic energy when the car came to rest but what we are looking for is the speed of the vehicle before collision which is not inside this equation so this equation may not be very suitable then if we look at the next equation which is the equation for impacts here we have the initial velocity before collision u and the final velocity after collision v let's note the difference between this equation and the previous one for the previous equation we have initial velocity before the vehicle starts moving that's immediately after collision what is the velocity that's u and final velocity v which is zero when the car came to rest but for impulse we are looking at um, effects we are looking at variables before impact and after impact what's the initial velocity before impact and what's the final velocity after impact that's what you and we represent in this equation but for this case this equation is suitable but we do not have the velocity after impact so we cannot use this equation therefore to find the velocity before impact so we're going to move on to the next equation that relates um, velocities before impacts 
and the rest of these after impact for both vehicles sum of momentum before collision is equal to sum of momentum after collision this equation seems suitable but we do not have many of the variables as well let's um, look at what we have so far consigning the problem that we are to solve we have our velocity before collision for vehicle a to be 8 km per hour when converted to meter per second becomes 2.22 we have our velocity before collision for ve for for vehicle b that is unknown that's uib is unknown then apart from that we have the velocities after collision vb and va which are also needed to 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 evaluate the velocity before collision for vehicle b but in as much as it's not given in the problem we can suitably use the energy equation to find the velocity after collision of both vehicles both vehicle b and vehicle a then we can come back to our main equation then we can come back to our main equation of conservation of momentum to impute all this back into it to find the velocity before collision so we're going to commence solving this problem by estimating the speed of car a just after collision and to find the speed of car a just after collision we are going to use the energy equation as i said so we're going to need to impute all what we have into this equation and what are these variables that we have first and foremost we need to identify what does the summation of work done connote in this problem we have that the vehicle moved from a particular point to another point after the collision and of course we're going to have uh, the summation of forces multiplied by distance to give us work done in moving from point one to point two here in this case the point one to point two is from the point of collision to the point where the vehicle comes to, finally comes to rest and the force needed there usually as far as this question is concerned is going to be the force of friction that resisted the motion of the vehicle up to the point it came to rest i will know that that force of friction is, is the product of um, normal reaction times the coefficient of, of kinetic friction for this case our normal reaction is the mass times acceleration due to gravity and when you multiply that by the coefficient of static of kinetic friction you get our force of friction and that's the force of friction that is used that is overcome during which the work was done before the vehicle finally came to rest so we can have our work done to be equal to that value of force multiplied by distance so having done this we may need to look for all the variables that has been given to us and if we want to do that first and foremost we want to replace this equation with some of the things we have we can see that the first part of the equation which is the work done has been identified to be product of mass times gravity times coefficient of friction times our distance moved by the vehicle before it comes to rest and we know that apart from that other variables as well were given that we can easily put into the question mind you we are looking for the initial velocity just after collision it is the velocity the vehicle with which the vehicle was moving just after collision that becomes the initial velocity for this particular equation so here we have our initial velocity u a that's u a a connoting subscript a connoting after collision then capital a in the subs subscript section indicates for vehicle a multiply a uh, raise to power to multiply by mass give us the initial kinetic energy as at the time the vehicle started skidding backwards then we have our session for our work done we have our mass there we have our acceleration due to gravity 9.81 we have our kinetic coefficient of friction 0.25 and we have the distance traveled by the car sa to the three and the last session of the equation is the kinetic energy after the vehicle had come to, to rest and the kinetic energy is just half mv squared. For this case, we are using VAA, which is the final velocity after collision, with when the acidity point the car came to rest, and that's zero. So if we input all this into the equation, if we we can cancel out the values of the masses from the whole of the equation, and we can evaluate our our velocity after collision for car A to be 3.84 meter per second. So having done this, we may want to progress to look for the speed of car B just after collision and we're going to use the same equation which is the energy equation we already identify the different parts of this equation which are the initial kinetic energy the work done and the and the final kinetic energy so if we impute all what we have into this equation let's not forget that the first part of this equation carries the initial kinetic energy just after collision before the vehicle started moving um, to the point it came to rest and here we have uab use subscript ab to represent the 
that that initial velocity of vehicle B after collision. And let's note that this is the initial velocity just immediately, just immediately after collision before the car moves to a point it came to rest. We have other parts in the problem, um, which is the work done product of mass times gravity times coefficient of static friction times the distance x for this case is one because the vehicle travels just one meters after the collision and we have the last part of it which is the kinetic energy final kinetic energy after the vehicle had come to rest for this case we know because the vehicle came to rest our vab will be equal to zero so if we put all this into the equation and we simplify we we'll get our initial velocity of the vehicle just after collision to be 2.21 meter per second. So to proceed from there, we the question actually was forced to determine the speed of car B before collision. And we're given the initial velocity of car A before collision. We're given the we're, we're asked to look for the velocity of car B before collision. And we know that the most suitable equation is the equation of conservation of momentum and of course we've estimated all the variables such as the velocity of the vehicle after collision as well as the velocity of vehicle B after collision. Now um, we also have the value for mass being that they are equal. Now working with our equation we may want to represent this all the variables in this equation with the ones we are working with. So we see that for the place of mu a, which is initial velocity of car a after collision, we've replaced it with the actual variable. We done same for the initial velocity of vehicle b before collision. We did same for initial velocity of uh, vehicle a after collision and vehicle b after collision. So if we input all the variables that we have into the equation, we can easily find out the unknown. First, let's identify these variables. We have mass of a multiplied by initial velocity of a multiplied by by half then we have uh, the same thing mass of b multiplied by half multiplied by the initial velocity of vehicle b and then we have same for their final velocities for vehicle a and final velocities of vehicle b well we're just adding momentums before collision equating it to momentum after collision and if we evaluate our equation we can from this equation get our initial velocity of vehicle b before collision to be 8.27 meter per second and the arrow there indicates the direction velocity of car b before the collision the next part of the question requires us to calculate the coefficient of restitution between the two cars to estimate that we need just a basic and simple equation as shown we may need to bring in all the variables that we've estimated We've estimated the initial velocity of car A before collision. We estimated the velocity of car, car A and B after collision, as well as the velocity of car B before collision. So if we replace this equation for coefficient of restitution with the appropriate letters which we should be working with, and we put in all the variables that we have into the equation, we can therefore calculate our coefficient of restitution. Let us quickly note that the reason we're having negative sign is just to cater for the direction. We're taking one direction as positive and we're taking the other, the opposite direction as negative. So if you do so, taking the negative direction as the direction of those velocities that are pointing towards the right and positive for those that are pointing towards the left. And you put them into the equation of uh, for coefficient of restitution, you can therefore quickly estimate our coefficient of restitution e to be 0 0.154. There's no unit for coefficient of restitution because the coefficient. Then next, we may want to calculate the impulse between the two vehicles, given that the mass of vehicle A is 10,000 kilograms. To do this, we the only suitable equation that you can use to calculate impulse among the kinetic relations are among the kinetic relation is the impulse and momentum equation. So uh, knowing that the only part here that we are unfamiliar with is the impulse, we, we have the values of velocity given. We have the velocity of the car vehicle A before collision, and we have the velocity of vehicle A after collision, as well as the mass of uh, vehicle A. So 
uh, we may need to replace this equation with the appropriate uh, the appropriate symbols so as to have a better presentation and if we impute all the variables that we have to the equation we have that uh, our impulse plus the momentum before collision is equal to the momentum after equation and if we evaluate this we have our impulsive our impulse to be 16,140 newton seconds. Just to summarize, we had two vehicles that collided and traveled specific distance after their collision. One moved, vehicle A moved three meters away, vehicle B moved one meters. And we're given other initial parameters. We had um, our initial velocities for vehicle A. We had coefficient of restitution between both vehicles at the ground as well as their masses to be 10,000 kg. And and we estimated the velocities of both vehicles after collision and went further to estimate the velocity of vehicle B before collision as well as the coefficient of restitution and the impulsive force. And this will be all for now. I want to thank you for watching and uh, I do hope you subscribe to my channel and hope to see you in subsequent videos.